Alright, huge movie fanatic Nate coming at you with another review of like a, well it's not an Italian horror movie, it's a Spanish horror movie. I think, I'm pretty sure it's it's a Spanish horror movie, which very much, we'll just call it a European horror movie. Well, it's a Spanish horror movie. Which very much, you know, is very similar in style to an Italian horror movie. Which is a movie that me and a friend back in the 90s and stuff at this video store chain that we used to rent from VHS called Video Update. <clears throat> it seemed to be on Tuesday or something you could rent two VHS for a dollar which was pretty cool and during the summer and stuff me and a friend would, would always, they had this this unbelievable VHS horror section with just titles you'd never heard of and obviously this was one of the titles one of the you know two for a dollar VHS we got one day and, or one night or one at one point <laughs> during the summer and we watch this and it's just like of course when you rent it and you just see a cover you don't necessarily I don't think we knew it was a you know Spanish horror movie and of course this is in, in you know during <laughs> during the time or after the time I've actually you know become very well accustomed to Italian horror movies and stuff like that so I had no problem with the fact that you know it was a you would just call it a European horror movie but uh, it was it's always surprising because you don't know it's gonna be until you plus start to watch it but the beginning of it, it has since come out on uh, DVD from Severin uh, home video or whatever would I actually have it and rewatch that particular DVD and which is pretty cool but it's kinda like sound like Deadly Night where like some of the more graphic shots are like a low quality VHS uh, I think it's only like two or three shots in the movie are this like they took the some of the excessive gore shots from which apparently is most likely a VHS which is unfortunate but the rest of the movie looks fantastic on DVD and is anamorphic uh, you know 185 or you know approximate ratio and whatever so <clears throat> this is kind of a I actually like this I don't know what I mean nothing really happens particularly you know it's only like 80 minutes or 80 something minutes long I actually, maybe it's just sentiment, just from, just, you know, renting it with a friend and watching it one summer night. Maybe a lot of it is, probably a lot of it, the reason I like this is just sentiment regarding just the time I saw it, maybe. It's just fantastic summer, you know, the summer I saw it. I mean, every summer is pretty great, but I think a lot of the reason I like this movie actually is just the sentiment surrounding just that time of my life or whatever, and I think like 99, I think. It was just like, you know whatever just this carefree whatever just renting this whatever the schlock but anyway on to the movie review you know it's it's it, the beginning of the movie starts at this like whatever there's this party at night and just these this dance or whatever outside and this it's so funny it's got this character but it's just got some just horrendous like it's like a big huge you know how like when you scrape your knee or whatever and you get this blister you know or that that they're not a I don't know what it's called. You know, this this pus and shit will grow on it, and it'll be become this harden up and be this crusty. God, I haven't gotten anything like this in years. I can't even remember what you call this. You just whatever. But you know, when you scrape your knee and it becomes all pussy and it dries, it's just whatever. It's just whatever it is. But it's like his whole side of his face has got that where you just want to pick it off. And it's just kind of this bad makeup job, and I don't know what the hell that's even supposed to be. If it's supposed to be burnt face, they don't even say. But this character at this night, at this dance outdoors in the dark dance, takes this guy. It's like some. It looks like some party where people got masks on. Takes this guy's Mickey Mouse mask, puts it on his face as a way to try to hook up with this chick, and it almost works until. You know, she takes the mask off and reveal, reveals his pus face, you know, and she's like, oh, you know, and she was going to screw him until then, and then she's, then he, she rejects him, and he's like, ah, and takes scissors, which happen to be right on the dresser, and stabs her and kills her, and that's the beginning of Bloody Moon. I don't think I, I don't know if I haven't said the title yet, but that's what I'm reviewing. <clears throat> and uh, it's just so just whatever, just, it makes you just laugh, you know. And then basically, basically the whole premise of this movie is this, this, there's this school, this, this, there's this countessa or whatever who owns all this land, which, land and buildings and shit and, and, and what do they call them? Oh, whatever. Little door, just little houses and bungalow. Did they say bungalow? I can't remember. But anyway, they, someone like this, her daughter, so basically her daughter and her son is pus face. And her daughter's is kind of attractive, pudgy, 
woman who, along with like her lover or whatever, set up the school basically on the premises, the school, language school or whatever, where all these nubile young girls and stuff attend to learn, well, it's the English dub version, so ironically, I think they're learning Spanish or whatever. I, mean, I imagine they're learning English in the Spanish version. I've never seen the Spanish version, so that'd be interesting to know what language they're actually learning in the, in the original Spanish version, but in the dub version, it's ironic they're learning Spanish when it's a Spanish movie, but all these relatively, you know, and some of the main characters, and of course, you know, you got the bustiest chick who doesn't show anything, which is so frustrating, but anyway, that's a, <laughs> that's a side note. But you got some TNA, like, you got some tit shots in this movie, which is kind of cool, and there's some relatively, you know, attractive you know, young women in this movie, which is kind of cool, but I don't, I can't put my finger on what I like about this movie, like I say, maybe it's just sentiment about it, but I guess just, I like the atmosphere, you know, the, the location of where it was filmed, and the goofy, goofiness of the couple scenes where they're in the little, you know, class in their booths with the headphones on, repeating, you know, English and then Spanish phrases and all that shit, but... Basically, the whole movie revolves around this the sister, the daughter of this Countessa, you know, spoiler alert, scheming with this guy who, like, runs the school to basically, like, frame, because this pus face killed someone in the beginning, he comes out, I don't know how many years later it is, he comes out, uh, he comes back home afterwards we just cut to later on with months or years later and he's coming home and they basically want to start killing girls at this school to make it and then frame the brother because all the money is going to go to the brother and she knows that the, the the sister you know of this wealthy contessa so they want to frame the brother which is kind of a cool idea and kill all these girls so it's actually the guy who runs the school killing all these girls i guess it's kind of spoiler alert time but you're not going to probably see this anyway so who you know or you or you have already seen it but it's kind of cool but anyway i mean the movie's just got some of the most ludicrous like mickey mouse ass kills it's just so freaking funny and just whatever actually the movie isn't really i should stress that it's you know if you're interested in seeing it it's not a big body count movie and kind of like i would say like the standout scene which is the famous like i don't know if it's a sawmill or whatever the hell it is where this chick gets just lets this stranger strap her down who would, oh, it's so ridiculous where she just, like, all in the, all, all in the view of, like, this huge saw blade and everything, she, she lets this guy who's, like, I don't know if she thinks he's on, she's on a date with this guy or what, but she lets this guy strap her down and, you know, basically saw her head off, which is, like, the, probably the standout kill in the movie, which is pretty cool, you know, it's just like, oh, man, <clears throat> But the, the gore in this movie isn't anything like like an Italian horror movie par, on par with anything like that. It's more, I just like the ambience about this movie. It, it's just, I don't know what it is. Like, even the music's kind of cool, and it's not really long. It's like 80-something minutes, so... You know, I like this more than the stars I'm going to give for it, which I'm going to go one and three-quarter stars out of four for Bloody Moon. It's, it's not really as great as I'm... You know, like I say, the, what I like about it, it is not something that I'm going to rewatch again anytime soon. And again, it is very light on kills and any kind of. It's more of a I don't know what the hell. It's just it's just a goofy movie, a goofy Spanish horror movie, Bloody Moon. What can I tell you? Um, it's just got the. It's just the, I love this shit because it's just the most random, nonsensical. There's this idiot kind of bald. Uh, pardon me, idiot kind of bald guy who is just like goes. He's just like shown on a seesaw later on he's like Ooh, and he'll just like get in a car and pretend to drive it and just be like Ooh, Ooh, and he'll just peep in like girls windows and shit it's just it's such a random goofy ass movie so one and three quarter stars for bloody moon if you like you know young attractive like european women it's pretty good for that you, you see some tits but not you know not for any extended periods of time, or it isn't like a nude fest or something like that, so. 
Oh my gosh, it should be noted that, you know, in America, of course, you know, it doesn't matter if, if the government bombs uh, hospitals. I, I shouldn't, I didn't mean to laugh there, but I mean, it doesn't matter if the government bombs civilians and weddings and hospitals in other countries, but gosh, you know, if you, you can't kill a cockroach or anything when you're filming a movie, there's this, there's this, you know, agency or whatever that oversees the treatment of animals in movies and stuff, which is fine. I mean, I don't want animal abuse, but I, I, I think that, you know, surely some cockroaches and bugs and shit could die for movies, but what I'm getting at is this actual ons, which you'd never find now in a movie in America, is an actual ons, if you're, if you're a sicko and want to see a snake decapitated for real, there's a famous, well not so famous, but scene where you actually see this guy cut a snake head off with uh, garden shears, and then you see the poor snake head like on the ground like trying to move his body and he's just moving his little part of his neck that's still there. So, in closing, you actually get to see, not, well, I get to, you, you're, you're made to see, you know, an actual murder of, a, of an animal, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever, it's just a snake, I guess. But, oh, there's this funny this scene where they actually kill a young boy, too, just run him over, it's just funny. But anyway, I'm kind of topped out for right now, so that'll be the last review for a couple of days or whatever. So thank you very much, <clears throat> my throat, you know. Thank you very much for watching this review of Bloody Moon. I'd say, you know, maybe it's on YouTube, who knows. I'd say, if you want just a, a just a, just like a what the hell kind of a movie, just random nonsensicalness with some tits, I mean, this is the movie for you. It's pretty funny, kind of, sort of. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Your kiss is cold and icy as death. Bloody Moon, a film you won't soon forget. Bloody Moon.